In this video, finally, I am doing it. I have been asked so many times to do a video or they ask me for an advice. How do you get rid of the tarnish? How do you clean tarnish? How do you resolve tarnishing? So, because I am well known to sell vintage Louis Vuitton bags, so most of the vintage hardware are tarnished. So, the best thing to do is... Um, get a metal polisher and clean them or polish them so in this video that's what we're gonna that's what we are gonna do um before that i'm just gonna introduce myself hello and welcome to bag chase this is anna your host and i am going to teach you on how to very simple you know way on how to talk how to clean or how to make or polish your um tired hardware into a little bit more um, shiny so what you are going to use is what I have right now is Brazo so I have this metal polisher metal polish Brazo uh, you can get any brand not just this one so q-tip <coughs> and <coughs> um, cloth clean cloth so um, what you're going to do, you have to be careful not to touch the fabric of the zipper, otherwise it will stain white and it's hard to, it's hard to uh, remove, you, although you can remove it uh, patiently and slowly, it's not a problem. But just in case, just don't do that. Also, uh, try not to stain or drop anything on the canvas just in case there's a chemical uh, reaction to it to the canvas so what i'm going to do is i've got a small container here i just poured some of the brasso liquid and i will dip my q-tip not too much soak because if you soak it too much it will absorb on the fabric so uh, what i'm going to do is to firstly do the zipper pull <coughs> okay i am going to do the zipper pull I am going to do the zipper pull. So you just coat it like that, just thin layer, one layer is okay. Uh, leave it for a few uh, seconds, maybe 30 seconds to one minute, do the other side. And then you can do the, you can do the rest. Can do the zipper like this make sure it's not soaked okay because if it's if your q-tip is soaked it will absorb on the zipper fabric so let's try and polish this with a cloth so it's very quick that you do that so i'm going to show you what will come out of that zipper Pull. so with just a few buffing you need to buff it buff it buff it so you get a little bit of tarnishing out already see see that magic it's so so satisfying so if you have the i mean um half an hour to one hour to do to to do yeah to to spare you can do this for each bag, each of your bags. You see that tarnishing? It's not so much shiny, but you need to sit down really to do this, do this job. But for me, I used to do this uh, before, back in 2015, 2016, when I started using, uh, you know, when I started selling, I, I used to uh, really clean the bags that I have or the SLGs I have. But now, not so much now, I haven't used this um, for about one, two years now. I haven't been doing this. So let's do second coating. I will uh, do a before and after as well. Actually, you might have seen it on the thumbnail as well. So... I have a client, I had a client, um, she bought the a Truce 23 from me and um, when she received it, she's clean and polished the zipper and zipper pull off the Truce and it really came back gold, nice and gold. So 
I've been planning to do this video but I just don't have the time to sit down like this so I thought okay this one is uh, for a client and I will be posting this tomorrow to her and she said if you have brasso can you polish my zipper I didn't know I still have the brasso but you know I haven't got the time to do this anymore so I really can't promise to polish them every time otherwise you have to pay for my half an hour time <laughs> which is really precious I think the Brazo uh, I think back then this was only two pounds something it's this probably is about six year old I haven't I haven't used it in ages in years so do it again it's really good I like watching cleaning videos you know oh, really good so if you really sit down and polish this it will it will have a really good outcome because I've seen it from my clients think you can sit down for just 10 minutes uh, polishing this you will have good result and if you're not happy you just keep doing it so <clears throat> So for just two application, it's come out really well. So if you are uh, with one application, as soon as you put a thin layer, you polish it. You can leave it for like 30 seconds and then you, you polish it with, we buff it with the cloth like this. Then if you are, if you are happy with the result, you don't want too shiny, then leave it. If you are not happy, just keep repeating the process. Okay, so that's how that's how you polish your your um, hardware. It's come out really nice this one. So with those, um, so with the the bits that are, that are too awkward, like this one here, this one there, you can get a toothpick and kitchen towel, but I. I just forgot to get the kitchen towel now. So you can get the small, small dip in there, and then you can just you can go inside that tiny hole in there so that you can polish it. You see, you have to be creative sometimes. Even this uh, LV here, you can go in between them. See, so now I'm gonna buff it. You see that? Every time you do it, there's black tarnishing coming out. So a client asks. Is that mold on the zipper which is this one I said no the previous owner must have tried and polishing this before but if you I told you if you soak it too much it will absorb on the fabric and uh, it will stain it will stain so you really need to be careful because it happened to me before someone has told me don't soak it too much it will stain and I didn't know what that meant and it stained <clears throat> really looks good now much better I mean wow and it's addictive as well so I I um, I warn you, it's addictive doing this. But for me, I used to I used to it used to be so therapeutic for me uh, back in those days that I used to clean vintage bag. I used to clean each and every bag that I sell. I own them, and then I I decided, oh, let me sell this to find something else, and then it became a a hobby to business so ooh, look at that. so that one is 
so much better now. I also have this uh, small uh, epi pouch. Let's try and clean as well. Look at the zipper pull. Ooh, it's not. It's not focusing. So I'm gonna do that as well. I'm cooking lunch for the kids. So today is Monday, Easter Monday, 18th of April. They'll go back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm free. <laughs> Just that. I've done so much, it's so much better. I told you this is so therapeutic. You should really do this. You should watch my videos and play in the background while you are cleaning your bags. I suggest you do it. Right, right, I'm gonna try and leave that soaking while I do some on the <clears throat> so you need to do See, mm, there's not much tarnishing going on. is so satisfying let me know in the comment section if you are cleaning your uh, tarnish uh, hardware now and if it's how satisfying it is how how do you like it how do you like cleaning your vintage bags ah! so there you have it here is my um, advice or here is my step-by-step uh, step, really not step-by-step step. here is my easy way on how to um, clean tarnish hardware on your vintage Louis Vuitton bags or any other bags I hope you like this video and please subscribe as well like this video and share it to your friends I'll see you next time bye